Google just launched Imagine 4, their latest AI model that generates ultra-realistic images from text prompt with incredible detail and style. But to experience this, you need the right tool. That's where Whisk AI comes in. Unfortunately, Whisk AI until now is only available on the US. So to experience it, you have to use VPN or of course, if you are living in the US. So this platform gives you seamless access to Imagine 4 for image generation and more. It doesn't just stop there. Whisk also let you animate your AI generated image directly, creating stunning dynamic visuals without any extra softwares. Continue this video with me and I will guide you through how to make all of this within Whisk. So here is the main uh, interface of our platform. For the, for the link, I will uh, let it in the description of this video down below. And the first thing that we are going to, to do is just to click enter tool and we will be redirected to the our home screen page of this platform okay so after clicking on this arrow and expanding our panel we are going to find three different section that uh, we are going to use in this tutorial so you may may be asking what is this or why we should need this so in order to generate a specific image for example in this case we are going to specify the main character or subject in this section in this section here and we are going to specify the scene that we are going to find in the in our image and then the style it should be cinematic cartoon etc so either if you have of course you have your own uh, images already or you can generate one through typing a prompt we are going to to try creating a prompt so to generate these images in these three section and after that we are going to generate our final image okay let's start creating our subject we need for this tutorial um, for a vampire character and click generate once the generation is done we will find the image here so the image looks good and if you, if if doesn't suits you you can just click on this pen in here to edit and then maybe change the prompt and then generate another variation or another attempt and check but this one looks really cool as a vampire a character okay for the scene we are going to imagine that it should be a dark foggy forest at midnight and click generate and here is our image dark foggy forest now for the style we are going to mention realistic cinematic style and click generate here is the image generated for the realistic style okay and uh, now we are going to generate our main image based on these three inputs we will try to hit generate directly without doing any additional uh, prompt for this and we are going to see the result that sh that will be displayed for us and we are just going to click generate 
Here is the two generated image that was generated for us. They are not bad, but the character isn't obvious that it's using the same subject that we defined here. But the forest looks the same, but maybe in this variation is much more better about the forest. It's kind of the same. And um, here is the prompt that was used to generate this. Also, we could, um, to make it maybe more realistic and to help the AI generate a better maybe image, we can add additional prompt so he can use these three inputs and then try to make a um, better image. So we are going now we are going to give him our prompt in additional okay but before this we are going to let's say give our prompt to to change maybe the subject and make it more realistic maybe so i have already a prompt that i'm going to use about an ancient vampire queen sitting on a throne made of bones so we are going to generate this and let's see the result so here is the result of this prompt it looks like i have <laughs> clicked many times on the generate button okay so this maybe looks much more better as the subject that we are going to use for for a dark horror story or for example okay now let's go back again and try to give a prompt to generate our main image again okay um, but first let's try it without prompt and then we are going to give it a prompt so here is our generated image without giving much more detail about additional details for this but it looks great it's using the same uh, subject that we defined in here and the uh, the forest behind also is uh, the same and it looks great as a first uh, try and uh, of course here you can with these settings you can find that the model for the best quality is powered by imagine 4 that we were talking about at the beginning of this tutorial okay so let's try to add additional detail and give a prompt for this and see what we are going to have okay our image is here it looks much more maybe scary and um, suitable for horror movie or series or story this one looks good and maybe we are going to use this image to to make the animation for this image or maybe for this i think this is much more better now guys we are going to head to the last step which is the animation and we are going to select one of these image and click animate okay and give a prompt to animate it and uh, I have prepared the prompt and I'm going to try it for this prompt we have slow animation slow cinematic zoom for the vampire and we have some wind animation moonlight casting shadows lot of things that we are going to try try generate and we'll be back when the video is done so for the generated animation I wasn't pretty convinced with it the character was moving her hand and yeah that's it so I tried to give it another prompt to make it much more cinematic with horror atmosphere and make it more realistic 
and I got this result and it looks much more better. The vampire is moving and there is the fogs and a lot of things that being animated and this result was much more better. So another thing that I wanted to, to tell you about is that for the free plan you have 10 generation. I'm not sure we, is it per day or per month because it's not specified here. But of course there is a limit for the free plan or for the generation. And if you liked of course this tool you can upgrade to the premium plan. So guys we have reached the end of today's video. If this walkthrough was useful please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below are you going to buy the premium plan of this tool or not and see you in the next video.